Okay, trigonometry two. Um, the first thing, reminder that we have a triangle here, right angle. This is theta. My opposite my my right angle is my hypotenuse side. Opposite the, the angle itself is called the opposite, the opposite, and the adjacent side. And we know that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Okay? So the first thing I want to show you is that sine theta over cosine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse divided by adjacent over hypotenuse. One fraction divided by another is the fraction multiplied by the inverse or the reciprocal. So that gives us h divides in on top and on the bottom, so we get o over a. And o over a is tan theta. So sine theta divided by cosine theta is equal to tan theta. Um, also, just on a naming front, we also have names for 1 over sine theta, which is equal to cosecant theta, 1 over cosine theta, which is called secant theta, and 1 over tan theta, which is called cotan theta. All right, just on the naming front. Okay, so we work that out. Now, The next thing I want to do is I want to show you what sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse squared plus adjacent over hypotenuse squared is equal to what? Well, that's O squared over H squared, because O over H multiplied by O over H, top by top, bottom by bottom. O squared over H squared, H squared plus A squared over H squared. Okay? And when you add fractions, as long as the denominators are the same, you can just add the tops. So that's O squared plus A squared over H squared, which is equal to, now, remember, right angle triangle, One short side squared, sorry, turn around. One short side squared plus the other short side squared is equal to the long side or the hypotenuse squared. So we can replace a squared plus o squared here with h squared. So we get h squared over h squared, which is equal to 1. So what have we learned there? We've learned that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. That's a very important uh, trigonometric rule and you will be using that a lot in any of your proofs. So again another rearrangement of that would be subtract cosine squared from both sides sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. So if you ever need to get to replace a sine theta or a sine squared theta with a cosine squared theta you can use this and um, you can even use sine theta is equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine squared theta if you just want sine theta. Alternatively, you can have cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. And similarly, cosine theta is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. So all these stem from this important one here. Okay, so we have that. And we now have sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tan theta as well. All right? I'll just leave them up there just to remind us. And rub out the rest. Okay. Now, from this, we can very quickly prove another one that comes up quite often. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1, we've now proven. If we divide across by cosine squared theta on both sides, we get sine squared theta over cosine squared theta 
plus cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta is equal to 1 over cosine squared theta. That gives us tan squared theta because sine over cosine is equal to tan. So sine squared over cosine squared is just tan squared. Tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to, and 1 over cosine, remember, was called secant theta. So that's secant squared theta. Okay? Remembering that because 1 over cosine theta is secant theta. Okay? That's another one that you may well be asked to prove for the reading set. Now, okay, I'm going to have a quick look at the two examples that have been given, but really with these, it's practice and just throwing in pieces of information that you know, um, but usually in an educated way when you look at what you're trying to prove. So we have example one is to prove that secant A minus tan A sine A is equal to cosine A. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the right hand side and I'm going to show it by replacing some of these with um, equivalent uh, trigonometric um, identities or formulas. I will show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So let's put everything into just basic sine, cos and tan. So secant A we know is 1 over cosine A. Take away and instead of sine A I'm going to put, or instead of tan A I'm going to put sine A over cosine A times sine A is equal to, and we want to show what that's equal to. Well, we want to show it's equal to cosine A so we're going to work away with it here. So we get 1 over cosine A minus sine squared A over cosine A. So what's that going to give us? Well, the denominators are the same. So that's 1 minus sine squared A over cosine A. Now, again, back up here. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So that means that we can now replace the 1 minus sine squared A with cosine squared A over cosine A, which is equal to cosine A, which is equal to the right hand side. So we've proven it. Okay? Now, the next part of that example, the second part, I'll go over as well. Hopefully you're getting the gist of it. We have tan theta times the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to sine theta. So again, we're going to take the left hand side and basically work with it until we get the right hand side, hopefully. So tan theta we know is sine theta over cosine theta. 1 minus sine squared, again if you remember it, 1 minus sine squared, cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared. Okay, so that's the square root of cosine squared theta. Now, if you didn't remember that, you could just have 1 minus, and instead of the sine squared, we can use this to say sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. So we could just have, instead of the sine squared theta here, we could replace it with 1 minus cosine squared theta. And 1 take away 1 plus cosine squared theta, when you multiply out the brackets, which gives you just cosine squared theta. Okay? So we can, we'd either come to that conclusion by replacing the sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared, or you can immediately see that 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. So what are we left with now? We have sine theta over cosine theta, and the square root of a number squared is just the number itself, so we get multiplied by cosine theta, or cosine theta over 1 if you like. You can divide the top and the bottom by cosine theta, and that leaves you with sine theta, which is equal to the right hand side. Okay, now I'm going to do the next example and then we'll call it a day today. Right. Um, now, the next example is to prove that tan theta, this is example two, 
is to prove that tan theta plus sine theta over secant theta plus 1 is equal to sine theta. So again, let's just replace everything with sines and cosines if possible. Sine theta over cosine theta, that's tan theta, plus sine theta over 1 over cosine theta plus 1. Okay, now what I would say to do is to multiply across by cosine theta to get rid of the fractions on the top and on the bottom. So basically we're going to multiply by cosine theta, we're going to multiply all of the top by cosine theta, and we're going to multiply all of the bottom by cosine theta. Remembering that effectively then we're just multiplying by 1. So we're not changing the value of the fraction because we're multiplying the top and bottom by the same thing. So cosine theta by sine over cosine just gives you sine theta. Okay? Uh, plus sine theta cosine theta. We multiply that. So we've done that by that, that by that. Now, this by this. Cosine theta by 1 over cosine theta gives you just 1, or cosine theta over cosine theta, plus cosine theta. Okay? Now, uh, we move across. Okay, yeah, we move over to here. So that's equal to sine theta. And now, again, it's a bit, it is a bit of manipulation to recognize this, but the more you do it, the more you'll see this. Factor out the sine theta on the top. So you get sine theta into 1 plus cosine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. And again, divide the top and the bottom by 1 plus cosine theta. And we get sine theta. And that is equal to the right hand side. And all I can say on that is the more you do them, the more you'll recognise how to do them. It's just practice. Okay? Right, we'll call that one a day for now.